friends, running kimono here. So we have a little chit chat talk video. Know a lot of you love these sort of videos, so that's what we're doing today. Not gifting from my stockpile around the Christmas holiday. Are you the Grinch? Hmm. That's today's question. So uh, <laughs> one of you guys actually reached out to me, and uh, I had a really good talk with a subscriber about a dilemma. Do I get from my stockpile? Do I not get from my stockpile? And I asked this uh, subscriber, I'm like, hey, could I make a video on this subject? Because it's been a couple years since I've actually tackled this subject. And they were like, absolutely. So, and maybe you guys can chime in too. I know a lot of you work in office places and you probably have quite the story or something similar to this. So this is kind of a an interesting one. Um, the subscriber reached out to me. She works in an office where there's about you know, a dozen people on the team. I'm not going to be very specific because I don't want to, you know, put this person's name and all their info on blast. They work in an office. She works in an office and uh, she coupons. She coupons really hard. Does a lot of these little deals, gets a huge stockpile. And she wants to gift to nine of her workmates, but there's one workmate that there's not a lot of love there, but she wants to exclude her. And she was saying, like, how do I do this? How do I, should I just give to this person? It is the holiday, but, you know, for for most of the work um, year, it's not been so great. And it's created this really weird situation where I want to gift from my stockpile, from a hobby that I absolutely love. I want to share with nine of my workmates, with the exception of one. How do I do this? This is really hard too, because I don't know what the culture is at this workplace. Will this subscriber get reprimanded by her work if she discludes one person? Will other people share and say, I got a bag full of really nice stockpile goods and, uh, you know, wow. Um, I mean, one way to do it would be to do like a secret Santa and just put nine bags on nine desks and don't even put a card from you and just say, oh, well, you know, something like that. Um, but then that one person would be excluded. Or do you do it after hours or you say to your nine workmates, hey, meet me at my car and just give it to them after hours. I think you wouldn't get in trouble there, but it depends where you work. And I remember one place I worked at, you know, probably 15 years ago. Yes, I would get written up for something like that. Probably, you know, uh, the manager used to wait under a clock and just write everybody's name when you'd walk in for 9 a.m. And it wouldn't be like 902, 903. It had to be like 859 um, and he would be checking you in. But ultimately, it's this young lady's decision. Um, and it's really sad that... Uh, you're in a place where somebody isn't kind and it's created this little strife. I think we've all had it. We've all had it at a workplace or somebody in your family you just don't get along with or somebody in your life you just don't get along with. We're all kind of there. You know, we know what this is about, these interpersonal dynamics. But ultimately, it is the subscriber's choice what they want to do. So you've put a lot of love care, sweat, and time into these coupon deals. And if you've amassed a little stockpile, it ultimately is your stuff. Thus, you are the boss and you get to decide what you want to do with it. And that is really whatever the subscriber wants to do, she decides. And it's a very awkward and hard and and just a hard place to be in, especially in an office. Um, I suggested if they had a friend uh, who worked human resources or like an office manager or something, just ask them and say, you know, I just don't get along with her, but I really want to do this. What's the easiest way to do something? Maybe getting somebody else's opinion on this so you don't get in trouble because I've worked in enough offices to know that uh, doing something like that and excluding one person, you can get in a lot of trouble. I just know that like right off the bat um, and it's just how it is. Now, being the fact that we do have such large stockpiles, um, if you're working with a larger stockpile, personally, I'm one of these people that likes to throw a wrench in the mix. I would love to give that person that's giving me a difficult time at work a bag of stockpile goods. You don't have to give the best stuff, but just throw a bag together, just a couple freebies, whatever you want to do, and just give it to them. I would just to see their reaction. I mean, it's not going to cost you a lot, especially if you've been couponing and just to throw something into the mix, maybe this will put this person in a good mood and maybe things might change. Maybe it won't. And I don't know the full dynamic and the backstory between these um, two workmates, but I can only imagine we've all worked with somebody who is difficult or your personality is just in and gel. Hey, I've been there. So um, 
that's what I would do. Um, I would just fill up 10 bags and that 10th bag, I mean, you don't have to lavish the nice Burt's Bees and the exfoliant sponge, but you could throw in a couple toothbrushes, toothpaste, and a couple other odds and ends that we get for free often and just put a little card in there. Um, maybe things might change. Maybe it won't. Guys, I'm dying to know what advice you would give to the subscriber. And if you've ever been in a situation where you've wanted to gift to some people, but that one person you couldn't and how you got around with this. As always, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.